Hey, closers, welcome to another episode of this sales training for beginners. Today, I want to cover the 10 worst sales behaviors you will want to avoid at all costs. And this is actually the reason why a lot of salespeople get a bad rep. Let's go. Number one. One of the worst sales behaviors is being temperamental. A great salesperson always has control over their mindset. A great salesperson understands the things that they can control versus the things that they cannot control. For instance, a great salesperson can control the number of activities that they could complete in any given hour any given day, any given month. A great salesperson understands that the other person's situation or the prospect situation is out of your control and it is within your control to probe and to ask questions, to learn where the other prospect is coming from. And so if things do not go your way, if a prospect is having a bad day, if your leaders did not approve a specific discount that you're trying to get your prospects to be happy with, if you did not close that deal, if you get a no, if you get rejected, that is okay. So rule number one, is to control your mindset. Have a good temperament. Be cool as a cucumber. Number two, answering a question when you are unsure is the fastest way to get distrust from the prospect. Bad sales rep will always answer hastily without confirmation from their team members without double checking whether the answer is correct or incorrect. So always double check the answer because if you answer without being 100% sure, that's borderline lying. Number three, unfocused. Great sales reps know how to create a focal point that is achieved by all parties. And if a sales rep is unfocused, they're working here, working there, thinking here, thinking there, multitasking, 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 multitasking. It means that they're not really thinking about the number one thing that is important to the prospect. And that is their requirements. And so drop what you're doing, do not multitask, and listen intently. Focus on what the prospect requires. Number four, over talking. Sales reps should listen 80% of the time and only talk 20% of the time. Apply the Zen method. Number five, a bad debut. Great salespeople build trust and they build trust fast. This starts from the very beginning of a call all the way to the very end. And so build trust from the very beginning, follow up and nurture, unblock, reciprocate, 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 be a resource, be a resource, answer questions all the way to the very end. And that is how you build trust from the beginning all the way to the end. Number six, punctuality is important. Lateness is a big First impressions always matter. First impressions are the last impressions. So always remember, first impressions, be punctual. Five minutes early is on time and on time is kind of late. Number seven, poor experience. You don't have a tailored approach. 
You're just giving the demos, the same demo to every single call. This is a very poor experience. You have to qualify, 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 disqualify, disqualify, disqualify. And watch this video here on how to disqualify. We cover medic. And in order to give a rich experience, you have to know exactly what your prospects require, what the scope of work, what the proof of concept will entail in order for you to tailor their experience. Number eight, failure to admit your fault or my fault. No one, and I mean no one, I repeat, no one wants to purchase from anyone who cannot admit their mistakes. This flaw impacts everyone on the team. And so be humble. And if you make a mistake, admit your fault, apologize, and move on. Number nine. Did you know that one of the most lethal faults of a sales rep, whenever they're driving a sales process, is not knowing when to ask for the close. So ask for the close. Last but not least, number 10, confusion. Often times, confusing prospects without having exact next steps are possibly one of the biggest culprit to losing a deal. If you have no clear next steps for your prospects and they are confused as to what to do next, they will not move forward with you because they have no clear steps. They have no idea what to do. So you have to create a mutual action plan where you both reciprocate on specific steps in order to evaluate your software or your program or your courses. Zero, and I mean zero, nada, no follow-ups. Courtesy emails, courtesy phone calls, courtesy texts, courtesy social LinkedIn outreach, TikTok outreach, Instagram outreach. These are necessary when you're trying to evolve a conversation, when you're trying to evolve a relationship. If you want to unblock your prospect from being stuck and move them forward within the evaluation process, you have to always follow up. And that is it. It's a very short video on the 10 do not do things on the 10 worst behaviors of a sales rep. I hope you can remember them and practice to not do these 10 things. And until next time, keep on closing. Peace.